Hey guys, this is a commercial for my first live Instagram. I'm not really a commercial, I just want to share it because I, I, I met the guy who did this. So I was, I was meditating and with you guys and then we met, his name is Ulysses. And these are called uh, the Sisyphus Stones, kind of a tongue-in-cheek name that he explained. Um, but anyways, so check it out. And I uh, hope you're well and I hope you're giving yourself a moment to breathe and uh, remember balance. Yeah, it's not easy, but we can keep keep uh, giving it a shot. Okay. Bye, guys. says about me that I can't have this moment to myself but that's that's another story <laughs> but I just wanted to share this spot on the Hudson River in the shadow if you will of the George Washington Bridge Manhattan in the distance in this rock garden what do they call these things anybody anybody Anybody? What do they call these things? What do they call them? Rock, rock, whatever. All these things are balancing. I mean, if a rock, if a rock can do that, like, geez, I, I can, I can do better at balancing. Isn't that wild? Hello from Turkey. Well, God bless you. God bless technology sometimes. Um, landscape art? No, it's 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 when they it's when these rocks. There's something. It's something that it's called, and and these people sit here and they. I've seen it in in um, person before. Hi from Germany. Hello. So. I thought, and this is, this is where I might lose you, I was going to meditate, so I thought, well, why not meditate? And I haven't been doing that much, but I'm going to sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this on for 15 minutes. A lot of you will be putting it down or shutting it off. But I thought, if I just position it as if you're... That's what I'm looking at. If that's what I'm looking at, right there, then maybe we can sit together. Now, I, can I get off of this and... Hi again. <sighs> Not sure how long that video lasted. Anybody know how long that lasted? We'll find out because I just shared it. Um, <sighs> did anybody take a moment? <laughs> did anyone close their eyes and breathe for a few minutes with me? I look tired, Laura, because I just meditated for 15 minutes. Maybe you didn't see the first video today. Um, so I feel very relaxed right now. And um, I did. Okay. Good. Fatima says she did. I did. Naya just Naya. How long was the video on for? before it shut off. Anybody? Huh? Tell me. Anybody? 
Bueller. 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 You can do it. Stand on top of the tallest rock. Yeah, right. Oh, si Sis Sisyphus Stones. The Sisyphus Stones. Really? I love that name. It's called the Sisyphus Stones? Hello, Paris. Hello, Chicago. Oh, cool. Thank you for telling me that. Anyways, I put it down. I didn't think it was going to stay on for 15 minutes, but I just sat here for 15 minutes. For those of you who, have, who are just logging on and weren't there, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Um, uh, so... I changed camera to scenery and it was over. Anyways, oh well. Where is it? It's, uh, that is, just to reiterate, that is the George Washington Bridge going over to New Jersey. I am in Manhattan. And I just want to give a shout out to these little grays that, like, in person, it's fine. But it makes sense. It doesn't make sense. It's arguably fucked up that thousands of people can see it. In real life, the one person in front of me might not catch it. On Instagram, it's right there for you and highlighted. Um, anyways, that was lovely. And what came up for me in my um, meditation is making room for God or a higher power. Whatever your higher power is. He, she, it, they, them. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it a power greater than ourselves to make room. And what also came up for me, because this last couple of weeks has been a lot, a lot of good, a lot of challenging stuff, um, is um, the not knowing. And making room for the not knowing. Oh, look at this guy. He's doing it. Maybe he's an expert. <laughs> they say when you do it, you feel like the all of a sudden the magnetic thing, and he just did it. Nice work. Guy looks like a natural. He's just banging it out. Normally, I'd be like, oh, oh, he's got a big one. Holy cow! Should I go ask him? Let's ask him. Come on. any of these things. Hi. Can I ask you about this? Hi. Can I ask you about this? On on uh, Instagram? <laughs> What's that? Are you live? I am live. Okay, hi. Hi, okay. Hello, everybody. Hi. Yeah, I look like the monk. The monk. Yes. Yeah. So I was I, I decided to try to do a live meditation. My my camera turned off, but I just sat here for 15 minutes and off for obvious reasons of balance, and uh, it's incredible. So you're obviously a pro because now what what, what is it? I, I was told once that like is there a feeling of like magnetism all of a sudden when you get it right when you get that balance? It just sits in there. It sits. It's it boom. Doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Yes. And you feel it. And you feel it, right. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. I'm told. Maybe someday I'll, I'll feel that. So there, is there any... This is, is it time or is it, is, it a, is, it a, is there a trick? It's the purpose. It's the purpose. It's the purpose. It's the purpose. So here, in, in this place, I don't come to simply to balance stones. Yeah. I come to meditate and calm my mind. So while I'm doing it, I'm listening to soothing music. Or the readings of Rumi, mm -hmm. and uh, these are like my these are like these represent represent idols. Mm. We all look for an idol mm. in life. So I come here to lift up people mm. because 
all of them. Um, it's working. Although now it's not very visible because of the wind and the storms we had. Yeah. But all of them had little stone on top. So a smaller far, one. Yeah, so from far away they all look uh, figurative. Mm. There is that idea of just imagine how the first societies lived, who had a different state of consciousness, and they lived, and for them the world wasn't this mysterious, mystical place. How would they represent the gods, or the idols, or whatever they they imagined? They they were still in a in a state of childhood mm. when their mind had not escaped, had not become abstract, abstract yet. Okay. Abstraction separates people from the spiritual world and also from nature. Mm. Because you, it's, the dictionary keeps becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, including more words. Is that, I mean, is, the, the, is, that, is that what thought is? I mean, is, is it is, is thought the thinking too much? You know what I mean? Is that kind of that thing? You, can, you escape from it, yes. Yes. Yes, you escape. Um, let's put it this way. Masters in the past never reached or never reached uh, knowledgeable or wise people or people of, of, of letters in, in, uh -huh. as to become their adepts. Mm. They always went to the people who had a simple mind mm. because from because the simple mind was uh, not developed, so had not overcome the heart and the spirit yet. Mm. So this is. Buddha the same did, Muhammad did the same, Christ did the same. Yeah. Christ says, oh God, thank, thank you for having showed the mysteries of the of life. No battery. That's it. No battery. Well, that's, it's, now, have you done all of these or a lot of these? I've done all of this. You've done all of it? Yeah, You're the now, guy? Yeah, I am the guy. So here, it's now it's not even half of, of what was here. Usually, uh, so storms will will take them down. Storms they have taken down, mm. uh, but mostly in spring and uh, summer it's people who take who tear them down at night completely. So somebody passes by and takes 20 minutes of their time mm. and flattens down the whole area. Okay, and then they and from prob that probably I mean that's what abstraction will do to you. Well, <laughs> they, well they were, they were very they were very abstracted those people right. or somehow. <laughs> Wow. How are you? We are live on Instagram. You're live on Instagram. No, I don't mind. Okay, no, good. Thank I don't you. Really know what that means. Yeah, yeah, I, I like barely do too. Watching us. No, not a billion, but 421. Oh, at there the, you go. Well, to, four, to those 400, how are you? Yeah. Are you still going to be here in two hours? Yes, I'll be around. You want a sandwich? I'm going to go back to my neighborhood. I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, you like Italian meats, or do you want a vegetarian? Uh, protein, 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 protein. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I'll get you. Now we want to know what this what this famous sandwich shop is in New York because I'm I'm again on my bike. Oh, and Sir uh, Sir Jimmo's. Uh, Sir Jimmo's. Yeah, Sir Jimmo's Salameria. It's on Sixth uh, Avenue, on the northeast corner of Sixth Avenue and Eleventh Street, right by PS41. Very oh. good. You like Italian sandwich? Eleven, Eleven, Eleventh no, Avenue. Sixth Avenue. Street. Oh, okay. So you're down. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll stop by and I'll pick you up uh, a bottle of something. Okay. And I will uh, get you something good to eat. And so good to see you. I'll see you wow. in two and a half. Wow. Yeah. How do I get in on this? I'm... You're still here. Well, I, you have a next time. I, okay. I want to get in on this What's community. Your That's your name? Joe. Hey, Joe. I'm Dan. Hey, Dan. It's nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. I'll see you in a bit, Dan. Well, I'll see you in a couple hours. Yeah. Well, thank you for, for you're sharing. Welcome. That's yeah. very cool to meet you. I was sitting here and, and uh, like I said, got to meditate. And I said, if this rock can stay balanced, I can stay balanced. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I have two feet. This rock just has one little point. So. Yeah. And if yeah. it falls, there is someone who will bring it him back again. That's right. Amen. We are supposed to. All right. Well. All good things to you, my friend. Thank you. Same to you. All right. And to everybody who is yeah. watching. Yeah. All right. Peace and love from... Uh, now, do they call this... Sisyphus Stones. Sisyphus Stones. Yeah, that was very ironic. I mean, uh, I just quoted that to, uh, to whoever wrote the article on the New York Times, which is Patrick Farrell. Yeah. And uh, he called the article 
why the Sisyphus stones, but uh, it was not intentional to, oh. uh, to brand it. baptize it as <laughs> yeah. Sisyphus stones. Okay. Because uh, it's not a curse. Right. Yes. Now, what is Sisyphus? I don't know Sisyphus. Sisyphus so. was this very um, selfish um, king of Corinth. Greek, so he was uh, able to cheat death and imprison death, and uh, mm. so nobody would die as death, as long as death was imprisoned in the shackles. But anyway, so the gods, for his uh, wickedness and his uh, pride, mm. punish him to punish him to hell. Mm. Uh, the task, I mean, the, the punishment is for him to roll a stone on top of a hill, and as he, the stone, and when he reached the top. Mm the stone would slip from his hands and fall back. So he had to repeat mm. the same, this mm. rolling of the stone on top of the hill forever and ever and ever. Yes. However, that was his curse. Yeah. This is not a curse for me. Right, right, right. This is more a meditating, yeah. but Sisyphus must sure. also have been very happy at a certain point. Right. Well, that's doing, a, that's a meditation yeah, as well. Doing something very heavy, Rowing. physically heavy, yeah. that you, your mind is clear to meditate and to go into realms that there you, go. Uh, you don't have to that sometimes we don't go because we are too busy with the abstraction of the world, with what life asks. It's amazing how serendipitous this was for me. So I'm Joe, and what was your name again? Ulysses. Ulysses. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful name. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. That's awesome.